Hey everyone, welcome back to Coded Row. In this video, we're going to be going over new free assets that came out throughout October to help inspire your game dev journey. So let's go ahead and just get into it. All right, so the first one we're gonna be checking out is the Villager AI system for Unreal Engine by TDP Assets. So let's go ahead and check out what our sane villagers are gonna be doing. So for example, this guy is just gonna be punching down this door. Very nice, he looks very tall, looks like this door wasn't the correct size for him. Uh, this guy is uh, shopping, kind of just grabbing stuff off the shelves and just kind of roaming around. So all of these people kind of have things to do. They look like they are shooting a gun into the open, into the abyss of Unreal Engines, demo editor. And yeah, so pretty cool system setup. So you can see the AIs kind of have like their own uh, things to do, except for these two over here for some reason, they're just kind of chilling. Oh, maybe they're just taking turns. Okay, so it seems like a queue system. So these guys are kind of just waiting around until this person's done, uh, finish shopping, then the next person can go. So pretty cool setup, pretty cool start to make something like a, maybe like a shop simulator, or if you're in some sort of medieval fantasy theme city, uh, just have them kind of like more uh, liveliness to your game and make your game really pop out. Next up, if you are into horror games or maybe just some sort of infected uh, random homeless guy, actually, maybe that looks a little bad for a homeless guy. There is this zombie asset that is rigged to the Unreal Engine character, uh, comes in multiple uh, different forms. So you can take his clothes off for sure, uh, different kinds of infection, and you can see these animations kind of play out, easy to rig and animate. So as you can see, skinless, eyes red, uh, shirtless, and so on. And yeah, overall, Pretty cool. And the reason why I picked this actually is because it ties in with our next asset. And for the next one, we have the free Anmans mix pack by Jane Gimstar. By Jane Gimstar. Uh, so as you can see, they're kind of just shimmying around, kind of dancing, uh, grabbing things, kind of like pouring a drink, holding a gun out and shooting. Uh, this person's acting like a zombie, so you can mix that in with the character we just saw. And yeah, so. Bunch of random animation. This person just kind of toppled over, maybe drunk or dead. Uh, I'm not sure what this person on the left is doing. But yeah, so that, <laughs> yeah, okay. Next up, we have this uh, miscellaneous props by UB. So overall, just a ton and ton of items. So we have this halberd. Uh, we have these kind of like hilts or something or kind of wraps that will go around the blade of a sword. Very modular sword set over here, and yeah, very, very cool looking. And then we have some like little army packs, uh, grenades, the actual triggers for the grenades, and guns and pistols, and so on. And then we have um, this torch, torch boxes, plants in a vase, and just a vase itself, fire extinguisher, headsets, tea, just a lot of pianos, saws, and so on. Very, very random stuff. We even have presents and gift boxes, as well as this. Giant uh, kind of looks like a gun holder or a weapons box. And then we have a ton of pieces of furniture and ceiling stuff. And then we even have uh, gaming chairs. Okay, so that's pretty random. And shopping carts. Uh, okay, yeah. So pretty cool asset. Very, very random. But hopefully something here can help you. And we have these Alien Flora 3 Stylized Fantasy 3D Plants by Oleg Varenko. So pretty cool looking assets, very, very alienistic. This kind of looks like something you would find in the game Astro Near, if any of you guys have played that. Uh, really do like the style of this, as personally, I do love stylized assets. And yeah, let's check out the next stuff. Next up, we have these free, ca next up, we have these free casual characters pack by Easy Games. So we have this tomato guy, the ghost, a doctor, some guy in a very gradient suit, and uh, this guy who kind of looks like Android 18. And this guy who kind of looks like Android 17 or something. And if you're making an FPS or a zombie game, we have these uh, kind of like animations you would see in Left 4 Dead. So we have these pistol forward walk, rifle forward walk, uh, more rifle forward walk and so on. And then we have these uh, kind of zombie looking walks. So this is supposed to be an old man walk, but I've never seen an old man walk like this, honestly. We have this scary clown walk if you're into those horror type games. A female walk, a female boxing pose walk, and a zombie walk as well. Just very, very random animations going on here. This sneak walk. And yeah, that pretty much covers it for this pack. 
And over here, we have the generic prop set by Madhound Games. So over here, we have a stack of pancakes and it looks like pistachios on top and strawberries and a piece of chocolate. And then we have bananas, we have fish, we have, um, I'm not sure, oh, chicken legs, cooked chicken legs, lots of chicken legs. Okay, just a lot of chicken over here. And then we have this uh, cow toy, this thing that little kids ride on, uh, elephants, a dog toy, and so on, a baseball bat, and just a lot of variations. So we got an apple on a stick, a green apple on a stick, and a lollipop as well. And then we have these pink hats and some ice creams. And yeah, pretty random, but pretty cool. Overall, a lot of sweets, a lot of food items here. If you want to add these to like a realistic shop simulator games, and I personally just love this pack so much. This is the And I personally love this pack so much. This is the Inferno pack, the free asset that just came out by Ip Happy or This is the Inferno pack that It Happy release, a very amazing company. If you do want 25% off their website, you can go to ithappy.com and use uh, the coupon code CODEROW25. And yeah, overall they have really cute stylized assets, very cartoony and uh, I think mobile and mobile friendly as well. If you are making mobile apps or just anything kind of very optimized and don't need to worry about performance, but they have some really cool assets like these gold coins, trophies. We got this really nice looking demonic treasure chest and this uh, cauldron with some soup and rocks or lava and rocks inside. And then as well as uh, just really, really cool kind of rounded beveled out uh, modular styles that you can kind of mix and match to what you want in this very flowy, cute lava environment with some nice animations going on in the lava itself. So as we get closer to the lava, our screen does get a little more red. And then as you can see, as we go away, it is uh well, it's a very fiery environment as we can see all the way back there. <laughs> and yeah, overall, really, really cool asset. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. And next up, and next up, we have this modular 15 pack by Underking. So Underking makes a lot of low poly type characters and they are modular. So it looks very cool. These guys are absolutely ripped. Uh, giant biceps, big chest, maybe a little too big on that guy. But yeah, overall, pretty, pretty cool asset. Very low poly and stylized. So as you can see, multiple different types of hairstyles and heads and so on, uh, different types of pants and like shorts and so on, hand pieces, feet, and yeah. And then we can see them rigged to the Unreal Engine mannequin. So we can see them running, walking, jumping, and so on. And then just a bunch of different characters laid out here. And there is customer, or there are color, color customizations. There are color customizations too, if needed, depending on the materials that it comes with. So pretty cool asset. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. This is the cinematic rig car. This is the cinematic car. This is the cinematic car rig light by Mad Goat Studio. So overall, these are really amazing. You can make some really, really cool intros if you're making some sort of racing game. You can customize these cars as you wish, and as well as kind of change the sequence of how the animations are going, how you want their loading to look like, and so on. So kind of like when you're in a car select in a game like Burnout or any of those arcade racing games, uh, you can kind of customize these and use these cinematics in order to just import to your game and use them as a loading or character selection in this case. And really cool asset. All the links to everything is in the description below. And next up, if you want to start your game with a simple blueprint interaction system, we do, there is this uh, interaction system. And now, oh. And now let's go over the easy modular interaction system by Bit by Manny. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I have this third person character and then it says press E to open door. So pretty nice, it comes with a little UI. And then there are different types of interaction types. If I look to my left, which is press, hold and tap. So let's go ahead and check this out. So if I go ahead and press it, it opens just like that one did. And then if I hold it, we're gonna see this bar fill up with a dark blue material and very nice. And then for this one, I just keep tapping E and you can see it go up slowly. And then same thing to close it. So the only thing I would really change about this asset is to 
when it's in an open state, change the text to say, uh, close the door instead of constantly say open. But other than that, that is an easy change, but very, very nice overall. And let's see what else is in here. So we can also check out the interaction constraints. So this only happens once and now I can't interact with it anymore. And this one has a cooldown. So now I have to wait five seconds. And then after the five seconds are over, this is pretty long. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have to re-enter the sphere for it to register. Okay, yeah. So it wasn't updating during those five seconds. But overall, pretty cool asset. If you need some sort of interaction in your game, feel free to check it out. Link is in the description below. Let's go ahead and check out the next asset. And that pretty much covers it for today's tutorial. And that pretty much covers it. Mm. And that covers it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you like and what you're interested in. If you want me to make any tutorials on specific topics, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Overall, these are some amazing assets that we went over today to just go ahead and check them out and maybe even import it into your game and so on. And yeah, thanks for watching Coders Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what we're going to see next. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.